Holy crap, Leonard Nimoy died. What? No! This is a wonderful beginning to the episode. And also dates it. That's oh awful. God. Galvatron's dead. I just got a text that Leonard Nimoy passed away. This is not cool. This episode is dedicated to the memory of Leonard Nimoy. And it's May the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, seriously, uh, this episode of Brett's Play is brought to you by James Murphy and the Saudi, the Saudi bomb shooter biscuits. <laughs> Brett's Play some more gun smoke. <laughs> so I get I get that his name is Cutter and he uses a boomerang, but I really wish his name was Cutter Boomerang. Yeah. Because then he sounds like a Mega Man villain, which makes sense because this is a Capcom game. Yeah. It's the very interesting. This is the first thing I thought of was... Mega Man villain. Yeah, it's Cutter Boomerang. And he looks like one of those um, constantly appearing bosses in the first dragon, uh, double dragon. Uh, a Bobo? Yes. Bobo, a Bobo. Bobo, 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 Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> Bobo Bobo's bizarre adventure. Speaking of like horrible TV shows and adaptations <laughs> of video games, you have Double Dragon, which was one of Alyssa Milano's first films. I have it on Laserdisc. Oh, man. I've got it on VHS and DVD. That movie was atrocious. It's a pretty bad movie. I like when they knock <laughs> a Bobo into the Double Dragon machine. <laughs> yeah. I go to, you know, like the, the high five, like fist pound, like half and half thing they do? Yeah. I go to do that with people all the time, and then I remember, oh, nobody else has seen that piece of shit. <laughs> Damn it! Is everybody seeing this piece of shit okay? It's capped all right. It looks pretty good from where I am right now. I hope it's better than the previous episodes. My sincerest apologies. At the fact that this series has looked like shit so far. I think I wasn't supposed to hit that. I don't know what it does. Maybe it like depletes my money. Here's a one man that I desperately needed. There's another one man. Oh wait, maybe that was um invincibility. That's that's me. That was Oh cool. I got the wanted poster somehow. So maybe if I have enough money for a horse, which I won't. I do not. One thing that always made me sad playing video games, and I know this sounds kind of disturbing, but you can't shoot the civilians. Occasionally, like the guy, Error. <laughs> well, you can in, um... Wait, you can shoot Error? No, you can't. I, I was just saying that some characters in video games are so annoying, like Error and, and the, the Duck, duck Hunt dog. dog. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I tried so hard to shoot that dog. Even though I knew I couldn't, I would Everybody constantly can. pull that trigger at the screen yeah, and watch the little light box pop up over his head. The light box gave you that glimmer of hope that one day you <laughs> may be able to murder him. And now in Smash Brothers, we can just pound the crap out of his I face. He's the dumbest character in Smash Brothers. I don't like him. I, I don't like using him. He's got some really cool mechanics. He's a really, uh, good, he's a really good foil to, for me because Little Mac is such like a ground-based melee attack kind of character. And he is all, he's Mr. Projectile. Yeah. And I really like his ultimate Smash, the Hogan's Alley thing that he does. Oh, yeah. Which is, it's really cool that he does that. Even though it's like a carbon copy of Mega Man's final Smash. But, uh... I don't think he was a he was a necessary addition. I think they should put Cooking Mama in the next Smash Brothers. I think that whenever he gets beaten, and you know that screen that after everybody's won, they announce who the winner is. Yeah. If he's the winner, I think he should be holding the duck by the throat <laughs> and laughing. That would be awesome. It's, it's, oh, you can shoot the boomerangs. Damn it! But you can't shoot the bullets. I can shoot the bullets out of my gun. I gotta beat him this time. Last night, like the first time I met him. I did really well, like I almost got him, and then I just lost three times in rapid succession very quickly. <laughs> I remember when I learned the term rapid succession. Maybe you can't shoot the boomerangs! <laughs> Damn it! That game over screen is so beautiful. I tried again. <laughs> um, what the hell was I talking about? Wanted. Bobo a Bobo. <laughs> uh, have you heard, have you ever heard the uh, adventures of Dwayne and Brando? Never. Um, they were like this video game rap group out of California back in the like early to mid 2000s, and they have a they have a song about Double Dragon, and this guy I knew, <laughs> this guy I internet knew like via MySpace, who was in another video game band. They were an acapella band called Push Start. Uh, oh no! You're glitching. It's against me. The game is against me. Anyway, um, they had a. There was a guy in that band named Leo 
Joe Camacho, and he plays a Bobo. And they also have a song about um, Sonic, and he's, he plays Metal Sonic, which is probably my favorite Sonic character. I wish I liked Sonic games more, but I don't. I enjoyed the second one, and what's funny is I played the second one before the first one. And the mechanics are really different. Like, you what can't just drop I and spin. To do here? Like, I. S oh, well, this is bad. <laughs> I'm playing against the glitch here. Which is probably good. It'll give me an excuse to end this series earlier. Because I don't think I'm going to beat Cutter Boomerang. I've never beaten a single Robot Master in any Mega Man game. Robot Master? Yeah, the Robot Masters. You have to defeat eight Robot Masters and, you know... The Rogues? Whatever you call them. That's what they call them in the game. Bitch, like, you ain't got enough for a horse. <laughs> Why are you trying to select it on this broke-ass screen? <laughs> I can't even, like... You can't tell that I'm doing this right now, but I'm struggling to, like, tell where I can and can't walk. Because it'll block me some places because there's supposed to be graphics there, but there's not. <laughs> well, I did pick up another one, man. Hopefully, I'll beat Cutter Boomerang this time. Let's, uh, let's hope you make nope, it I'm dead. to Cutter Boomerang. <laughs> Got one more. One more life here. This one may more. end up being a long episode. Who knows? I might cut it into one. Jesus Christ. I like how you can shoot forward if you hold both of them, but it just... Why would you ever? It's um, useful. I guess it can be. I just never find myself doing it. Sweet. Excellent use of pow. No, I'm dead. <laughs> Jeez. You zig when you should have zagged. I did zig when I should have zagged. Do you want to try? I'll give it a shot. Okay. Why not? There you go. Passing the controller oh. over to Murphy here. Let's not knock over the PBR with the NES cord. Well, at least that would that would be an acronym disaster. <laughs> All right, here we go. And show me up with your with your homegrown old school gaming skill. Oh, don't build me up like that. <laughs> now you put me on the spot. I'm I gonna suck, and people are gonna be like, "What the fuck is this guy doing here?" I okay, just a disclaimer: I have no idea whether or not Murphy is particularly good at NES games, but he did grow up more so in the era than I did. My first system. And speaking of the Punisher, do you ever play the Punisher on Genesis? Uh, no, I have not. Oh, it's awesome. It's a beat-em-up. If you play two-player, second-player gets to play as Nick Fury. Really? Yeah. It's uh, amazing. And it has, like, guns, and it's just one of the best beat-em-ups I've ever played. Like, seriously, it, it almost rivals Streets of Rage. But Streets, Streets of, of Rage was an awesome game. Streets of Rage is an absolutely awesome game. And, like, that's the only thing that puts it above... Punishers, like Punishers, art style was kind of crappy. I didn't like the graphics very much, and um, the music and the polish and the style is just not as defined as uh, as it is in Streets of Rage. But I do like beat 'em ups for sure, especially Streets of Rage. And actually, I think River City Ransom may be the only ah oh, horse shit. <laughs> Streets of Rage may be the only NES game that I've ever beaten. No, I got that. What? River City Ransom. Have you, that's right. You've never played any of uh, the Legend of Zelda games. Uh, no, I have. I've, um, I'm just not a huge, huge fan. I, I got like halfway through Link to the Past. Um, but it just... Uh, the save deleted itself. Fucked hard! God damn it, I thought I still had the damn invincibility on. <laughs> Stop making that noise ages ago. Yeah, just, you know me. Fuck. <laughs> Zelda's too popular for me. Ah, uh, it's still a fantastic series, man. It really is. I don't like. Don't get me wrong. I'll give stuff credit where it's due. Like I used to hate Smash, but I would always say like it has amazing presentation and a huge cast of characters. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. It's hard. My wrist hurts. Oh, <laughs> it's hard. My wrist hurts. Um, shit! <laughs> Sex jokes. Lose game. Well, thanks, Fuck shit up. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching Brett's play. It looks like we both suck at gun smoke. Unless you want to try some more, do another episode. Uh, no, I'm done embarrassing myself for the day. Okay. All right. Well, there's the smoking gun for you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, the, the smokeless tobacco gun. Ooh.